at Morristown Kiwanis Disc Golf Course. Jackson was able to take the lead back on that one at 37 down. Moving on to hole number one, 218 feet. This is a putter shot straight up the middle. When we get it high enough uh, to get over the edge of the hill there, but then it drops off into a little hole. And uh, the basket's located right down in the middle of, uh, I guess, a pit, you would call it. That's looking nice. Yep, that's exactly what you want. You can see that's right beside the basket. Tapping in for a birdie, too. Yeah. Broke lead. Going into hole two, 327-foot par four. This one you can see a lot of different lines on. There's a left side gap, a right side gap, and there's also a big hyzer over the top. I've seen thumbers over the top, and uh, that's nothing that any of us go for, no. but I've definitely seen some pros make that happen. Looks like Dickerson's lining up the backhand, probably Anheuser on the left side gap. No. Nope. And that is a great shot right Wow. There. <laughs> right side, Annie. From Matt there. Dickerson also looking for an eagle, too. Dickerson's looking to run a... No, I'm sorry, two-stroke swing. Carter has jumped up to 38 down, uh, which is uh, one stroke over Logan now. This is uh, the final hole of the final nine on round three, and uh, 285 foot par three. Uh, basically, just a little soft putter hyzer shot for these pros. Exactly what Chris is doing here. You see the basket. A little bit there. right. Yeah, a little bit on the right. Knew right out of his hand that that didn't have a chance. Dickerson, you can see, <clears throat> excuse me, ended up on the right side, so. It's got a few trees to deal with, but I don't think they're in his way, just just kind of in his area, so hopefully it won't get into his head too much. Took Ooh. his time and made his putt. Pretty much what you work. And the second round was at Pether Creek, the newest court. That's kind of weird. I used to throw a backhand, something that overstable, hope it doesn't roll. Definitely. Now this is a flick for a lefty like myself, uh, so it is kind of crazy to see Logan do that, but I trust his forehand just as much as he does. Now Chris Dickerson here, looks like he's tossing a putter down through there, just trying to get it out in the open, leave himself a putt for a two. And so it is definitely a change from the long wooded holes at Panther Creek. Absolutely. Dickerson looking to get his two here. He does just that. Yeah. I would consider this with the lead at 27 down. Moving on to hole five, it's 300 and tied up on those uh, trees on the left side there. I like to just play the straight up route. I think it's easy, slow, straight up. Don't get caught up in any of the trees. Looks like Chris Dickerson's taking the same line there. If I throw it right, it's very hard for an amateur to throw completely straight that far. If I throw it right and I get a two, I feel good about myself. Yeah, this is a par which ties Chris and Logan up at 27 down. Moving on to hole six, 270 feet. This one plays right to left. Uh, there is an alternate pin. They won't be playing any alternates during this. You want to make it over that uh, road right there. You can see a walking path. That can get in people's heads sometimes because there's some low hanging uh, branches that you don't want to hit Definitely. but you don't want to throw it too low and ever since I saw that I've remembered his name ever since so I was really excited to be able to and Dickerson are still tied at the top moving on to hole number seven 318 feet this one plays left to right you kind of want to throw one straight out uh, I would say these pros most of them are going to be going with a flick you want it to go straight out of the gap and then hard right. There is a very large sinkhole to your left so if you are throwing a flick you're hoping it comes back on you. Mm -hmm. That's a great shot from Chris. He's got some trees to deal with there for his putt by the look in his eyes. 
This is the interest room for two? Yes. Okay. Looks like he went a little bit past the basket as well. Skipped down a little bit, so it's not quite up on the hill. He might have a pretty clean lie from there. Oh, yeah. 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 No problem from Dickerson on that one. Lead from Bowers. We're going on to hole eight here, 333 feet. This is a, a tight little gap you have to go through. If you've got a flick, a really good flick, um, that's what I would go for. But I can see Dickerson lining up a Annie, which is just fine. Yeah, if you can hit that line, there's definitely an Annie line there. He That's got very good shot <clears throat> in their head, but on the scorecard, it's an eagle. Chris lining his birdie up. Mm -hmm. Well, eagle. If, eagle, eagle. Yeah, yeah, yeah eagle. <laughs> like you we just, just said, said that. <laughs> <laughs> now, I mean, this is a scary putt. Definitely. You, you hit that cage, you roll. I've been down there. Mm. I've been in in the sinkhole, putting out of it. <laughs> you can roll upwards of 100 feet down that hill and land in a pile of trees that have been cut down. Oh, but great. He is definitely not affected by it. Great shot. He's 31 down and Bowers is 29 down. Not exactly sure what's going on on the other cards, but Dickerson is definitely making a huge move here. Now hole nine, surprisingly, with how much how much is in your way, this is pretty much the most aced hole in Morristown. Absolutely, I aced it myself with a backhand Anheuser. I'm left, I'm left handed, so it's uh it's definitely a want to get to, and I'd say these guys are probably running it, possibly for an ace. You can see mm. that Dickerson almost skipped up in it. Looking at it, it doesn't look like that. Mm -hmm. I thought he was coming off the tee. Shout out to Michael Gibney in the background there. Another Prodigy sponsored player. Standing behind Chris, hoping to see his teammate get a two, and he did just that. At 32 down, uh, Bowers at 30. Moving on to hole 10, 224 feet. Now there's two routes here. There's a right route that you can see Dickerson throwing, they're trying to throw a flick ante to get in there. And then there's another route to the left, which is just straight up flick with no ante. Mm -hmm. That's the one I prefer, but if you can do this, you can make it there. <laughs> now the carved fairway for this, the one that's supposed to be the actual fairway is to the left side as you're often. There's a lot of stuff in the middle, but he obviously saw a line I would assume he's hit that line before. Dutch is no stranger to Morristown Disc Golf because he comes to Tennessee State every year, so great to see him out again this year. When I filmed uh, Dickerson uh, during the 2016 Tennessee State Disc Golf Championships, uh, his drive on this hole landed him uh, way down in the pit near the back. Unfortunately, didn't go in this time. <clears throat> Good putt there. I wanted to switch angles there so you could see what he was actually looking at. He's putting it for such a short hole. Yeah. You just it's like I said, it's a technical here, so you kinda wanna cut in uh, not before that big tree you see, but you can see two trees that are forming close to a V. You kinda wanna curve around the outside of them. Yeah. Now Dickerson throws something here that I've never seen on this hole. Throws it up, and I don't know if that's an intentional roller, but I've never seen that before, and it worked out really good. Sanctioned course in town, but uh, it can get to you. You can come out here and have a round that's really good and play around directly after that and have a really bad round. It's all about hitting your lines, and you have to do that on this course. It's still ahead by two. And moving on to hole number 12, 312 foot, and this hole is uh, definitely a lefty hole, 
or a flick hole. And you can see the Dickerson lining up the flick here. I would assume all these guys are going to be going for a flick. <clears throat> I have seen some locals throw a big, huge Sky Anheuser over the top. I don't have that kind of arm. I'm left-handed anyway, so I couldn't do that. But good I think he's just solid all around. Mm -hmm. I really enjoyed watching him play. Great guy, too. Uh, he's, he's funny. He'll joke around with you. Dickerson looking for his two here. Good putt. Will Shoestrick over there to the side yelling at Chris. Just a few behind him with 32 down. Starting out on hole 13. It kind of plays uphill and to the right. Uh, what you want to do here is just kind of toss one. They're going to be going for the flick. Uh, it's a good left hand hole in my opinion. Uh, like I said, 281 feet. I would say the first 190 play slightly uphill and then it kind of flattens out to a plateau with a basket on the right side. Oh yeah. Uh, Looks like he turned us over a little bit. Yeah, there Ooh. is a sinkhole where you can see right there. Dickerson ended up right there in the sink. Now Chris is down in the sinkhole. You definitely don't want to be down here. Uh, he did go a little bit long and left. Oh, he had a shot at it, though. Dickerson tapping in for his three. One, Carter, I'm sorry, Bowers at 32 and Carter at 31 down, but definitely got a putt there. Chris going with the backhand. I've never seen a line with a backhand on this. Like, I can't, I can't see myself throwing one. I'm going to see if he figures it out, and he does. Well... <laughs> I'm wrong, apparently. <laughs> Matt had a little bit of trouble on the front nine, but looks like he's hopefully going to pick it up some on the back nine here. Dickerson looking for his birdie. See me zoom out real quick right there. Dickerson's hard to film, guys. I'll tell you that right now. Oh. Oh, wow. <clears throat> he's going to tap in for his three there. It's unfortunate to see that kick out. That would have been a star frame there. Yeah. Must get. Now this one, hole 15, I got to apologize for some camera issues. We there. Now finally I was able to get the camera working. Once again, very sorry about that. Prodigy sponsored Chris Dickerson here, 2015 Rookie of the Year. Yeah, basically you just want to stay out of the thickness at the on the right at the end and just hit your line straight through the middle. Mm -hmm. There you go. That's a good shot there. He's definitely looking at what and laid that up beautifully. Dickerson looking for an eagle. Ooh. Oh, two holes. In yeah. Even I've found myself 50 feet away from the basket mm -hmm. at some point. Low birdies and one eagle on that. Moving on to hole 16, 254 hands on the left side. That's the problem with the uh, Annie backhand. Mm -hmm. You gotta, you still gotta kind of ride the right hand side. You should be able to get up and down from there. Looks like Chris is going to be going with the same kind of shot Dutch and Logan tried. Very nice. Doing a good job at picking back up after the front nine. Kind of, uh, it got to him a little bit. Eleven down for this round. <clears throat> Excuse me. Screen, so. Yeah, it's a little difficult to not come in early on this. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're throwing a forehand shot. Dickerson going with a flick. Couldn't really tell there if he... Here's Dickerson, you can see he got caught up there. It's not too bad being down there, but you are putting uphill with OB Road behind the basket. So you want to run it, but not be super aggressive. Mm. Oh no. Mm. Very close to having four in a row. 
Dickerson for par. Mm. Mm. That was a good thing. Mm -hmm. He was 11 down so far in this round, and he's carding a bogey here. So we got a tie up top at 35 down between Logan and Chris. It stopped up on the edge there, so he should have a putt. Dickerson looking to get a stroke back after mm. that unfortunate. Going to the left little side little. of the tree on the back end. That's a little different from what I'm used to. Let's save his birdie. Got Dickerson looking to make a swing back towards the top. Got an eagle. He gets an eagle, so. Ooh, I'm just so dynamic. On another latitude, they can't stand it. Yeah, I'm a rocket boy. I stay blasting off, and I was never planning on landing. I've been working on my legacy yeah. since I've been a prodigy. It's probably the dog in me. I mean, honestly, ain't no one stopping me. No apologies. I'm so astonishing. I say, Innova, yeah, I've been the one. We talking trophies, dog, give me them. Championships, I'ma give me some, and I'ma keep on grinding till the millions come.